Alright, what's up guys? Uh, Baking TV here, bringing you guys on how to farm totem, alright? Okay, so this is it. It's a Thursday, Thursday dungeon. And you see right here, you're provided with four different ruins. Well, five, including the level four. The level four, that's where you get the miracle totem. You'll need that for your six star. For a five, five star to six star. So that's the last totem that you're gonna need. And it's probably the most hardest one. Now the rest of them, you have your elemental right here. You got thunder, earth, water, and fire. Now, I know you guys might be wondering where's light and dark. The thing is, light and dark will appear. Like, they might appear or they might not appear in the following five. So, you just gotta test your luck in there. And then, for each one or for the. Uh, for each element, they have uh, different types of uh, monsters, you know, that that corresponds to that element. So, but uh, for me, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the fire since, you know, I, I could use another fire totem. So uh, I'll give you guys that. Now, you guys, you guys know my team. Uh, you usually have full Leon, but I do have a Vargas. I probably need to change that. I have a Fire God now, and I do have three Leons now because I acquired a new one, a new Fire unit, a Freya, the sister, one of the sister. I was lucky enough to uh, pick her up during the event. But okay, so you'll need a Mono Team. You know, mono teams definitely highly recommended. And then for your friend, uh, the obvious choice would be a six star with a super BB, but I don't have one. Now, Lava, she has a pretty good leader, but it fills up your BB gauge, which is nice, but definitely not as nice as a Vargas. So. Since totems hit you for a good bit, you definitely want a leader skill that increases your HP by 10%. This will definitely be beneficial, because for for getting a totem, it's all about survivability. You gotta be able to survive. It's, it's the most important thing. So I do have a light team, but light team is fairly weak right now. So definitely not ready for this type of battle. So let's get into it. Hopefully, uh, I'll have a pretty good run. Okay, and you know, you know how to do the spark, guys. Just proccing the spark, it's really easy. Just go ahead and start from the bottom right and work yourself up in a zigzag fashion here. As yeah, so. And that is gonna get you the most spark procs. Well, I mean, that's what I've experienced. Maybe you guys have different patterns. Feel free to uh, go ahead and share it, even though this is not a spark video. I might make one. Oops, I missed one. But yeah, see, now if you're really unlucky, you'll get stuck with two totems on the same, like, at, at once. And that, that gets you in a very tough position, because they do AoE pretty much almost every turn. You know, you gotta... That's, that's basically what you're gonna uh, expect. But if you have two of them... Dude, they're gonna... They're gonna be doing way, way too much damage. I mean, not if you already have, like, a... a five-star team, but, you know... Obviously, if you have a five-star team... You know, you're not really gonna be struggling. But, yeah. So, that's the worst-case scenario. Worst-case scenario is... Running into two totems at the same time. Now, basically, the best case scenario is definitely not running into any totems until your last fight, which is the fire totem or whichever totem, whichever map you ended up going with. Now, here, I should definitely run into the light or a fire or a dark totem, but I haven't, so that's 
That sucks. Because I need to get a light totem. Since uh, I'm, I'm, you know, working on that light team. And I do have odd rows. I have three of them. So I need to work on that. So yeah. And then I also need one for Sophia. So yeah, it's a handful. I need at least four light, light totem. Which is going to be a bitch to get. Now, so... You see, I think I think I'm having the is the easiest run right here, where I'm not running into any totems whatsoever. I mean, if it's your first time, this is really what you want. You want the you want this, this easy, easy, easy run. Now you're definitely gonna run into a boss. Now Fire Drake is definitely one of them. And then you run into different ones. For each element, you run into different kinds. You're always gonna run into these. This is basically the mini, the mini boss. Now, don't underestimate the mini boss here. Okay. Now, for a mono te mono team like mine, this is how I did it. But I'll definitely give you guys an alternative. Now, what you need to do is just go ahead and pop the seal and pop the ore. Okay. You're gonna do that right and then this is like um it's okay you can go ahead and waste your bb because you're probably gonna get it next turn and if you don't then oh well but it's better safe than sorry because you definitely don't want to lose you don't want to lose a player here you know that that's the key that's the important part here okay i got really lucky and ended up taking them out in a single turn that was unexpected that was unexpected but you might think it's a waste, right? But really, it's not, because we weren't. We um, haven't taken any damage. We took zero damage from that fight. And usually, I mean, if you end up killing that thing in like two or three turns, you're gonna you're gonna get a beaten, and then you're gonna end up spending some cures. You need to try to not spend any cures, because you're gonna need them for this fight right here. Now, I know I spent my BB, I don't have, uh, I only have the Leons, but, dude, this, this is going to be a long fight. This is going to be a long fight. Okay, now, always remember, these Ore and Seal only last for three turns, alright? So every time before you start a fight, just make sure that the buffs are still on. If they're not, go ahead and put it back on. Now it's safe to do this from the from the get-go. Just do it from the beginning, because uh, from what I've experienced, um, the uh, the BBs are pretty random. Sometimes they'll do it on the first turn. Sometimes you know he'll skip a turn and he'll go on the second. You see right here, he's, he's go ahead and uh, he did his BB here. Okay. All right, now a really good spot to be at is definitely uh, close to 3,000. If you're at somewhere around 3,000 HP, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Now, uh, one of my Leons are at like 2,700, so I'm gonna let that slide. I think I think he'll be able to take that a uh, little beating. But yeah, don't don't overdo it, cause uh, you know you don't want to be uh, you don't want to be wasting the cures. You want to go ahead and spend it just enough so it will almost get you to full, but not quite there yet. Alright, now we're halfway done. Like I said, make sure that the buffs are there. Now they're not. We just ran out. So go ahead and gonna rebuff them. Never forget that. Make sure that the HP is all pretty much full. Okay. Alright, we got, that was pretty bad, especially with the, uh, with the BB, I think, I think, um, Gumi has to do something about the BBs, cause you can't really, um, synergize the spark with the BB as well, it's, it's harder, the auto attacks are pretty easy though, okay, so, <laughs> alright, I forgot to heal my units, totally forgot, and now Freya really took a beating out of that one, yeah, which wasn't good. Now, I'm definitely not going to heal her again. I think 25 is pretty good. And we're about to kill this thing, so... Kind of probably leave it. Okay, so if you're around like uh, 2500, 
it's kind of risky you want to go above that because if you're really unlucky the totem will attack the same unit like three like several times and that will basically lead to a death okay so they're all over 3000 okay and then we finished it really really easy so the whole fight I ended up spending eight eight cures and then for the fire ores I ended up spending three I spent one the ore and seal I spent one for the mini boss um, for this example that's the fire drake and then for the final boss you'll either spend two or three it depends but usually like after I use two I'm gonna have the totem extremely low so by that time uh, you know I'll probably not rebuff them I'll be able to finish out the fight without the buff you know but yeah okay so let's see if we got it now this I'm telling you it's gonna take you several times and there's gonna be more times when you don't get it okay I was lucky I was really lucky and I, I made it out with the fire totem but I'm telling you it's not as easy as it looks it's extremely hard now I'll go through a couple of alternatives right here since we're on the reward page or actually maybe I'll show you guys the team so now love tofu you know my team are not as stack as yours I don't have a full four star I mean my fire Vargas is also a five so that might be the reason why his attack went up by a fucking good bit but um so if you don't have four star team maxed out mono and if you don't have Leons which have good recovery you know they're able to sustain really really well all right now what you could do is you could replace one of these units with, you know, possibly a healer. But I don't have a healer. I don't have one. Because I wanted to do this run without a healer. And this is this was my answer. And it got me there. But, I highly recommend you going mono. Make sure that your leader gives you a 50% attack power boost. For whatever element you are. And then also have quite a bit of friends or you know that have the same leader skill and then try to find one that is a six star because that's gonna I mean the starter that you get in the beginning of the game they all give you 10% HP bonus which is really really good um, you see that my uh, Leon's are only 3800 but with that buff it brings them up to over 4,000 a little shy no, not a little shy. They do go over 4,000. So, 4,300 actually. So, that's a really big boost. And having that much HP really, really does help a lot. Because you don't waste as much uh, cures. But, okay. So, if you're having a hard time, you know, you can't get through it. What you need to do is just go ahead and get a healer. And don't follow the same items that I were using. Uh, Divine Light is, is a pretty good item. But if you have a healer, you want to go ahead and get a couple of uh, Fuji potions. That's what it's called. And Fuji potions allow you to replenish the BB. So that way, you'll be able to heal like right after another heal. Say for instance, you heal them, and then you take a massive blow. You're out of cures, and then or you just have to heal the whole team. You know, then you go ahead and pop one of those Fuji potions. Give it to the healer and go for another heal next turn it really helps out but i think that's pretty much it i mean there's no real strategy guys it's just some of its luck and then i mean yeah i mean it, there is a good portion of luck involved you need to make sure that you have a good run without any totems but even if you run into them don't get scared but if you run into two you're probably fucked because you're gonna be spending way too many items you know like right there I ended up ending with two now if I ran into one totem before the last totem right so in total two then I wouldn't have that much of a trouble since I'll be able to use the seal 
but still I would run out of cures, that's the thing, and I would probably have to use a couple of high cures. So that's the thing, um, the best scenario is not running into any totems until the last one. The second best is running into just a single totem and then having the last totem. But you gotta remember, there's always that fire drake, there's another mini boss there. And then the worst case scenario is running into two totems in the beginning and then meeting up with that mini boss and then the final totem. I mean, that's just gonna suck for you. And like I said, the capture rate for these totems are extremely, extremely low. Probably took me about, let me think, probably a good four tries. You know, somewhere around there. It's, it's several tries until I got the fire totem. And that's not including the attempts that I failed. You know? If I attempt the things that I failed, I mean, that took even longer. So. But it took, it took probably like... I failed the first week, and then I had to wait another week. Let's just put it like that. But yeah. Hope this uh, satisfied you guys. Hope I, uh provided you guys with uh, loads of information and how to be successful in capturing these totem. Happy farming guys. Have a good one.